Hello and welcome, this is The Clay Golem. We're back again uh, doing another video that is slightly different from uh, what we've been doing. So we've been building um, at the moment the adventure of Fandelva and Below in Foundry VTT, uh, which gives us a slight problem or a challenge. Um, and that is a lot of the published adventures like Fandelva and Below, the Shattered Obelisk, they're not designed to be run on VTTs, which is absolutely fine, of course. Um, that's not what they're made for. What that means is, is a lot of the characters don't have portraits uh, and they don't have tokens. So we need to create them and that's not a big deal. We can do that. Uh, if you've got artistic talent, then you'll be fine with just doing that. Um, but I don't. <laughs> you've seen me do maps if you've watched that video. Uh, art is not my thing at all. So I need to find a way to cheat that. Um, so what I've done, the folder you can see on um, on the screen in front of you is where I have pulled down the existing images um, that exist in the Fandelver, uh, the first four chapters, because um, that's the bit we're focusing on, and I've pulled down those images to see which ones we like and which ones we can use um, to move on with. So things like um, Agatha the Banshee, you can just see here, this is a nice image but Agatha's kind of small in the middle so I've literally just used paint to pull up a different version of that so we've got a, a one that is suitable for using for our portrait and for our token. Uh, I've pulled down there pictures of Gundren, Harbin, uh, Lano. Now Lano he's supposed to be spelt with an I but I can't pronounce that so he's now Lano with an L. Um, and we've got Lenin, Grey Wind, um, we've got uh, Radoth the Druid, um, I've also Yeg the Chef, who appears in Cragmore Castle. I've used that image and I've just, again, just using paint, opened it in paint, clipped the bit I want so I can use Yeg. But there's lots of other people, especially in town, that we do not have. Um, so we don't have uh, Quelleen Alderleaf. We don't have um, uh, Barthen. We don't have um, Toblin Stonehill. We, we're missing lots of different people. So... Where are we going to get those pictures from? Now, of course, you can go to Google. You can find images that other people have produced and things, and you can use those. Now, for this purpose, um, I need to be careful about what images I'm using that I don't own. Um, and also, I can't always find images that I like. So I want to talk to you about using Midjourney, um, which is, you can see in the background, I've got Discord open. And Midjourney uh, is a AI bot that generates art images. There is a free version. You get uh, so many images that you can do. Uh, I think it's per month. Or you can join um, their Discord. So you pay a bit of money for a fee. Uh, and then you can basically generate as many as you like. So bearing in mind, if you've got a whole adventure to do, you could choose that paid option generate all of your images and then discontinue your membership until you need another one. You could do that. Um, I'm not an advocate of showing you things that you need to have membership for. I prefer to give you all the free ways of doing it. So if you can draw, excellent. If you can find other things that suit your needs just using Google, lots of stuff on DeviantArt and places like that, you go for it. Um, but here's another method. So you can see right here, I've just put out a video talking about um, uh, Na uh, Nazar, the uh, the drow, the black spider, and you can see where I created that image in here um, for that. So there's, there's no rights on this, you know, it's created by AI, you can um, do what you like with this particular image, so I've used it for that. So who do we need to actually generate for our Fandelver, um, our Fandelver quest? Okay, we have, I've got in the other window, I've got the list up of the NPCs that we find in Fandolin, including um, Sister Garrily, for example, the Elf Cleric of Timora. So what we can do, just to show you how this works, we literally are going to do backslash imagine. And now, as you can see right at the bottom here, it's quite small. Um, but at the bottom here, you can see, it's hopefully you can see, it's got a prompt up where I can type in what I want it to imagine from uh, an image point of view. So I want to start off with, uh, I'm going to go Alf Cleric of Timora and just see what it comes up with. Now, that's not a lot of description. She's a female. Let's go with female Elf Cleric. <laughs> 
cut that down 50 50 and you can get quite complex with these and there's quite a skill and an art to how you request it but sometimes just going in simple will give you something you weren't expecting that actually really really works so when i was doing um uh, uh nasner up here i literally put in young drow wizard with staff i'm just going to see if i can highlight that bit for you just above that picture oops it's just moved on young drow wizard with staff that's what it gave me um, it actually gave me a choice of four uh, and i clicked in and decided which one i wanted so um it's just doing its thing here you can just see at the bottom here now it has finished generating some female elf cleric of timora images i can click on this to make them larger and i can decide if any of those are kind of suitable for what I want. Now this is, you've got a whole range here, haven't you? Um, there might be ones you like more than others. This bottom left one, I don't like the background if anything else, because in the adventure, it's very, very simple little um, shrine. It's not in a big cathedral thing. So that one's straight out. Um, top left, that's quite nice. Um, quite like that one uh, bottom right is a little bit cartoony for my personal preferences but I also like this top right one so I think I'm going to go with the top right one here so what I can do you can see just under these images we've got these u1234 and v1234 the u's is to upscale them so basically it'll make a bigger version of that image V's is to create a variation of that. So I want, so top left is number one, top right is number two, bottom left is number three, bottom right is number four. So I'm going to go with my top right, so that's number two, and I'm going to click V2, and that is now going to use that image and create some variations based on that image. So I might get some slightly different perspectives, I might get some different backgrounds, uh, and things like that and you'll see what that's going to do um, now the problem oh no the drawback is sometimes this can take a bit of time to get the right image that you want um, sometimes you end up sitting there for ages kind of like oh it's not what I want not what I want I want to keep going um, but you can see that's happening quite quickly for us here and this is again this is just using female elf cleric of Timora uh, we just wait for that to finish there it is so we can see our original one top right up there and these are four variations based on that so I might look at these and go one of these is my preference to use for this um, now given the town and things like that that we're in I don't want anything that's too fancy I want something a bit more plain I might go with the bottom left one here so if I want the bottom left one so that's one two that's number three I'm going to click u3 and it's going to upscale that for me and that's done that really, really fast. That's my image. I'm going to right click. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to be able to, you don't want to see all of that stuff. I'm going to be able to drop that straight into my folder where I'm going to name it who it actually is, of course. Um, and her full name was Sister. Uh, whoa, have I done that? G A R A E L. There we go. Uh, and that's a PNG file. That's it. So I've just generated that, that character image. I can use that to make a token and everything else in Foundry. So if you're struggling for images, this might be the way for you to do it. Uh, if I just scroll up, you can see that I've done a whole range of different things for different purposes here. I played around with Young Drow Wizard with staff. I didn't really like any of those. So I, I got to do it again. I got a different variety of them. Um, I got some images of a village being attacked by a dragon that I've done uh, I did some kobolds <laughs> when we were doing Stormwreck Isle I did some kobolds in there and uh, a couple of the NPCs um, in Stormwreck Isle I also did some images for um, to just pull out and find things that I thought I would like okay so um, this is one as well from there and who knows what else comes up here ah oh, yes we did have um <laughs> I did have one of my parties got uh, got wiped out um, by orcs and goblins, so I did some 
death scenes for them so uh, just to show what happened to them and yes one of them literally did end up in the cooking pot so uh, I pulled out a nice image of this is your resting place in the stew pot um, they weren't too happy that I'd gone to the effort of putting a picture together for that um, but yeah give it a go um, like I say you, you need to be in discord um, and you can just find it it's called mid journey bot uh, you can add that on you can just google mid journey and you'll find it um, have a go have a play um, of course yes even if you pay for mid journey it's not very expensive monthly subscription but you can generate all of your images for free once you've done that and pretty much anything you want so there is one other thing I want to do with this rather than just using it for characters I want to create a background scene for something so I'm going to do a white lightly wooded uh, lightly light ooh, ugh, I can't actually write can I lightly wooded path and see what that comes up with okay so when I'm using scenes for foundry I tend to use battle maps but there are times when I just want something for them to look at um, while we're talking about what happens um, it's not taking too long that's all right sometimes they take longer than others depends how busy the server is and things um, so just bear that in mind but we're already 32 percent but yeah sometimes I just want them to look at something something pretty I might want a cityscape and things like that and again I can just use mid journey for that pretty much any kind of image I want um, Well, they're pretty realistic aren't they yeah so I well, the reason I'm looking for this particular image is there's a point after the um, after they get ambushed by goblins and they follow a goblin they follow the trail before they get to the Cragmore hideout cave um, and it's kind of lightly wooded fairly open now these images are a little bit too um, a little bit too wooded ideally for it um, but I can refine these because you saw me do that. Let's pick the first one and do variations on that one and just see what else it comes up with. So hopefully it won't take too long. It's already yeah, it's very small for you guys on screen, but it's telling me it's currently 25% through 32%. So it's not taking very long. It's just uh, how many ever, however many images you've got to do, it could take a while. There we go, it's starting to do it. Now at 55%. They look a bit weird while it's uh, refining them. 75%. And there we go. So I open that up again. See, they're all very similar, but slight variations on what we had before. Now I can pick one of those. Now, I've got a slight problem with the bottom two, is they've got this, this grass in between, which obviously would be from where carts cars etc have traveled um, that's not a want for my goblin trail i think top right is going to work for me um, it looks like a single path that kind of disappears into the woods and again it's only for visualization they're not using it for a battle map or anything so that's number two again so i'm going to upscale number two there it is nice and quick and now that's mine i can just save that and add it into my pile with the others when I can uh, find my correct folder for that. So I'm going to Fandelva. Uh, I'll just chuck it in my, uh, I don't want it in my NPCs, do I? Let's chuck it in here with the rest of the maps. Lightly wooded path. Sorry if your screen is blurry at this point, or was just blurry, but uh, need to keep a few things confidential, obviously. That's <laughs> showing you my entire contents of my computer. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Um, Mid journey can be really, really useful if you're desperately struggling for images and you haven't got hope in heck like me of making your own. Um, cheat, or rather, you know, use your brain rather than your uh, your talent if you can. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that's been useful. If you've got other tips and things for creating scenes or images when for people who have no artistic talent, let us know in the comments. See ya.